about two and a half, I'm not even, two and a quarter. Okay, we'll see where you're hitting and then adjust from there. That two and a quarter shouldn't be that, that bad. I'm probably gonna have to just use a little holdover and First one will be right at it. Okay. I didn't see it, so I must have went into those bushes. I uh, got a, the suppressor on it, so. So aim at the top crossbar. Yeah. I still did not see nothing. What the hell? Try it again. Unless they hit it, maybe, but. Oh, no, that was way low. Still way low? Yeah. And that thing's maxed out? Yeah. That seemed low for even 100 yards, though. You have it set for a hundred, don't you? I should, yeah. Wow, no, I mean you hit, you hit like before those bushes. Try one more time and I'm gonna aim higher though. Yeah, go ahead and aim higher. Yeah, you're still in the middle of those bushes. Wow. So where were you aiming at? I got it at the very bottom of my crosshairs. So I was aiming at the top of the hill. Yeah, and you're still hitting in those in the middle of those bushes right there. Yeah. And I'm just shooting crappy ammo too. What ammo are you shooting? Uh old hunting stuff. Okay. It's not subsonic, right? No. Okay, I'll aim higher. Yep, go higher. Bottom right leg. Maybe just below the leg. Right off the right edge. So aim just a touch left. I, I couldn't miss that edge by an inch. It was so close. Got it. Hear it? Yeah. Thing still doesn't like to feed well, huh? Not well. Yeah, as I say, I haven't shot a whole lot through it, so. No, oh, that's true. I think that hit high, up by the top bar. Yeah. But I'm not positive. I'm having to aim about halfway up that gray spot. I bet. Time to put a 30 MOA mount on that thing. I tell you, if I wanted to go out that far. I think they hit off to the right in those rocks. Way off? Yeah. That must have been the round. What's that? It must have been the round. Oh, there's uh, maybe just a little wind out that way. Doesn't look like there's any wind, but. Now it could have been a ricochet too. That was a little high and a little left. I mean, if it hits part of the stand and bounces off, we're not going to see that. <laughs> right. Or even catches the edge of the, the gong, we're not going to see it. G 
just off the left edge. Yeah, I figured that would be left. I pulled it the last second. I think it was just over the top, but it might have hit some of the metal in there that's hanging it. Again, uh, maybe the camera will tell because it has more zoom than these binoculars. But it looked like it was right around that left hanger. Yeah. Just over the top, windage was good. Uh, about six inches and over. It's not bad for not being able to see your target. No, no, not bad at all. Because I can put mine right on it, the crosshairs. Yeah, I probably, like you say, need that 30 MOA. Then I'm gonna find the rock again that I'm shooting at. Right there. Just blow at about seven o'clock, maybe two inches off. Maybe 6.30, right in that area. 6.45, we'll split the difference. Uh, low and right, probably about 15 inches out. That yeah, may have been in almost exactly the same place, so it's got to be the ammo. Yeah. Okay, we do got a little breeze going out there, bouncing around a little bit, but not bad. That was Empty, it. huh? Yeah. Now we get to turn it back. <laughs> 